today's luxury, let's jump right into the unboxing video. Welcome back to my channel. So let's just jump into the description of the bag. So I'm on the Fendi website right now and it says Fendi baguette uh, leather bag. It comes in black, white, blue, brown, I believe, tan and red. And here it says iconic medium baguette bag made of soft Napa leather with three dimensional texture FF motif, decorated FF class featuring a front flap Mas magnetic clasp lined an internal car compartment with zip pocket and gold finish hardware. The bag can be carried by hand or worn on the shoulder or crossbody thanks to the handle and shoulder strap, both detachable, made in Italy. It's composed of 100% lambskin and then the interior is a cotton polyester polyurethane um, mix. And then it says here that the dimensions are 15 centimeters in height, uh, six centimeters in depth, and then 27 centimeters in length. And the short um, handle strap right here, this is 41 centimeters. And then the long shoulder strap here, that is 90 centimeters. So it's really, really comfortable and functional to wear. Um, one thing I love about Fendi is I think they think a lot about the function and use of their handbags and they're just engineered really well. If so. you look here they have two D-rings for each of the straps instead of you having to hook your both of your straps to one D-ring and that just you know if it was on a single D-ring it would rub, tarnish quicker, um, more scratches on your hardware. This is just so thought out and then of course because it has the two D-rings it lays better um, so when you hold this one, and this might be a little bit different because I have the wrappy on it right now, but you know, this lays there and it just, it functions just so well. The leather is super soft and supple. Um, I actually bought an organizer. I'll link the organizer that I purchased below. It's from Joy and Bag again, American made company, and I bought it off of Etsy. And so far I've been really pleased with their quality and I'll let you know when that, um, uh, insert comes in. I'm just going to open this up. Very strong magnetic closure. And then it just has like sort of like a dark hole in there. And then one zip compartment that they um, talked about earlier. And it says baguette Fendi made in Italy. Buttery smooth zipper, although it's very flimsy, so it's hard to zip right now. So I definitely need that organizer in here. And just a textile lining. Now this originally retailed for, let me just double check, $32.90, but I bought this off a of fashion file. And here's a tip for you. A lot of people are intimidated by just like minor wear on the bag and they're just like, oh my goodness, like how is this going to be obviously used and it's going to look really weird if I buy it. This one in particular had a little yellow spot on the front flap and I was just like, Hmm, I'm sure I can get like that touched up, you know, worst case scenario. 
or best case scenario, did anyone try wiping it off? <laughs> so um, when it arrived, I just took like a 100% water baby wipe, rubbed it a little bit, let it air dry. There was a little bit of residue on there, so I went in there with a magic eraser, which you have to be very careful with because it can, depending on the material, can actually just take off the color off your leather. Um, and then I let it air dry. There was also a strong perfume scent, like perfume had spilled in the bag. So I just used an unscented Febreze, sprayed it, let it air dry as well. And to me, this is, I don't know, a brand new bag. And I got this for $1,800 compared to the retail price. So I think it was a great deal. I'm very pleased with it. I love the functionality. I love the style. Um, I did try it on in, what was it? Uh, I tried it on in Fendi at uh, the Lenox Mall here in Atlanta, and I can insert some clips here. And I tried on the black and gold, and that's the one I was originally holding out for. Um, and then I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. So I definitely want to get the black and gold or maybe even the tan color. To me, it's very comparable to the caramel color that everyone was obsessed about with Chanel. Um, but I don't know, I prefer it on this type of bag because it's a bit more casual, um, but still you can dress it up. I also want to get the Fendace Rappi, the white one. I think that'd be really cute on this handle and just very perfect for summer, but you know, it's sold out everywhere. So I have a couple messages out to a couple of um, sales associates. Hopefully I hear back soon, but don't hold out hope. Um, there did say that there's like a second drop of Fendace coming. So maybe they might release more of their silks. Um, who knows? And um, it's just so funny because to me, I didn't, this is my first Rappi from Fendi. I didn't realize how long they were compared to the other design houses. So there's the Mitza from Dior, the Bandeau from Louis Vuitton, and then the Twilly from Hermes, those are the only ones I know, and then the Rappi from Fendi. And they're just, you can do so many different designs. So I'm really gonna play around with, since I have that much length on here, what kind of designs and bows and stuff I can do with the handle. So that's just a fun little add-on. So yep, yeah, this is just going to sit here when Very I get a bit better, but it's gonna sit up there in its new place of honor. And I'm just really excited. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Dale's Addiction, she's having a Fendi obsession right now. And I think a lot of YouTubers are really getting into the design house after being a little turned off with the service and quality of Chanel. Um, Dior, while it's stunning and beautiful, like I still feel like the Lady Dior is like their strongest style and they haven't really, I don't know, they're other than the saddle, I guess, but you already know my opinion on the saddle it's not really strong on their other bags. And then of course there's Louis Vuitton, but there to me, it's like, I don't know, is it just me or is Louis Vuitton feeling fast fashion-y? It's just so many collections, one after the other, and I'm just getting whiplash. Like I love the new Stardust collection that's coming out, I believe the 17th here in the US. And I think it's really stunning. But I'm just like, people just had the pastel collection. There's more like the men's collection is looking really cool. And there's just so much going on. So um, I think people are just looking around at their other options and seeing that, okay, there's a wider world other than like the top three design houses, right? So Fendi, I think is definitely moving up. Um, Dale had like a made to order experience that I thought was very interesting. I'll link her video so you can see that you get to pick the materials, the buckle finishes, the combinations. Um, so you can get like leather or fur for um, all of their classic styles. I think you can do the baguette, the Fendi first, and also their peekaboo. So oh, I wonder if they can do the sunshine tote. I know that's very popular, but anyways. Um, so you can do all sorts of like different um, customized designs to your liking. That would be like a dream come true. Although one of my greatest fears, and I don't know about you, like what if you do the combination and you get it and you're just like, it's okay. <laughs> I think. So that's something definitely to uh, look at. Uh, it's, you know, or something to like think about, but I guess it's a fun experience, like being creative and thinking about your wardrobe and what would work well in it. Do you do something like super neutral so you can wear it all the time? Or do you do something super extravagant? Cause you know, it's like, it's a, like one, a once in a lifetime opportunity, one of a kind. 
and um, you just want that special memory every time you pull it out, like maybe once a year, you know? So anyways, um, definitely expect more um, from Fendi. I'm really enjoying it. Let me know if you are thinking about purchasing anything from Fendi. What do you have your eye on? I still need to get the hoops, whether the classic FF hoops from my wishlist video or the Fendace hoops. That's still on my wishlist and I think it'd be really cute to wear with my new handbag. And um, I just think it's gonna be so cute this summer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.